Hello friends, um, this is Taylor, happy Sunday. I made this video and then a cut, so I'm making it again. Um, we're talking about binders this week, binders, tips, everything like that, um, what I've worn, what I recommend. I have strictly worn Underworks products, I have tried the international brands that you find on like eBay and they don't work as well. Um, I really had problems with breathing in them. Um, and I have not tried GC2B binders, um, other people have and they will talk about that, I'm sure. Um, but primarily the two binders I'm going to be talking about are the Underworks Swim Binder and the Underworks Ultimate Chest Binder. Um, both can be found on f2mbinders.com, I believe. I'm just checking. Yep. I'll put that link below, the individual ones. Um, so I'm going to start with the Swim one. I'm going to go into this very lightly because I made a, I've actually made a um, review of the Swim Binder. So that's going to be, that's on YouTube on my personal, so I'll link that below as well. Um, I used it for like a couple months just because I got top surgery and um, it worked well. It has very little give though, so like, and not saying it tightens, but I would wear like a shirt over if you're going on the beach or like a tank top, something that kind of works with your body. Um, again, the usual binder stuff, like don't wear more than eight hours, breathe, it zips up in the front versus the clips or the, just the pull on, so keep that in mind if you're looking, I would recommend it. Um, I'm making the videos fairly, the reviews fairly quickly just because my video got cut off last time, FYI. Um, the Ultimate Chest Binder I used for two years. I had multiple ones. I had a black one with, and then I had a white one, and then I had like a skin tone one. So I was really into what I was doing for me. Um, I preferred the full length, so it was a tank top of full length. So it went to my like stomach. I tucked it into my boxers. It worked fairly well for me. It changes per person, I guess. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews on Underworks, but my experience with it is I had a belly, we'll call it. I had a little bit of a bulge in my stomach. So the constriction that helped my chest helped my stomach too. And that's why I went with the full length versus like the tri top, which is like the cut. And I had that for my first binder from Underworks, and it was a hand me down for my friend. So it was fairly big. I mean, so it was very like worn down, but it worked for when I needed it, and I got new ones for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I hear GC to be the rage currently. So I mean, if you're into that, I'd go for it. Um, I hear, yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna end that. I'm sorry, this was a lot shorter than my first one. I just want to make sure I can get all my content in a good time frame today. Um, my next thing I am going to talk about. I just had to click to my next thing, just because I'm awful at taking notes and knowing what I'm talking about. So, I got this shirt, and you have seen, I think Spencer talked about it, Spencer definitely talked about it, I don't know if anyone else did, that's my bad, my memory's kind of short right now, it's been a long day, um, but Spencer was talking about the Black, Life, Black Trans Lives Matter t-shirt from Ways to Raise. I have the Black Trans Lives Matter acronym t-shirt, particularly it's called the BTLM shirt. Um, super comfy, super great, I would recommend it. The shirt is like an American apparel and I'm like, um, I would wear it right now, but the only reason I'm not is because I have coverings on my chest still until Friday. So, yeah, I'm gonna wait till those come off before I start wearing t-shirts again so it's by enough all week. Um, but the cool thing is they're donating 10, uh, they're donating a certain amount of profits to Chase, who is a 22 year old black trans man. Um, he's getting his top surgery in October, I believe. If that's wrong, I apologize. I can correct that. Um, but I will put that link below. They have shirts. They have an awesome new one that's, like, retro. They have the acronym, like, BTLM. They have Black Trans Lives Matter, very bluntly written. Um, they have it in a bunch of different colors. If I didn't already, if I didn't buy the pink <laughs> out of this binary shirt, with my purchase, I would have gotten the pink, this in the pink, because let's be real, I love pink, like that pale pink color. Um, but I don't own a red, so it's like, hey. So I'm just gonna hold this up, mm. so y'all can see, like that shirt itself. This is a medium on me, and it fits fairly well. If it's a little baggy, that's how I like my shirts. Um, but yeah, um, updates for yours truly. This is the new scenery. Um, there's gonna be a tapestry behind there at some point. I have not hung them. Um, I moved into college today. So I'm back at UMass Amherst 
and I'm hanging out on my third floor single, which I'm thrilled really about. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of moving things around as we speak. Um, so I'm thinking about like important days. I am about uh, five days post op on my revisions with Dr. Preak in Springfield, Mass. I'm super happy with the results. I posted a picture on my Instagram and uh, it's at Taglick, T A Y G L I C K. If you're feeling like looking that up and seeing, I'm super happy with the results. Um, I'm just not happy because I didn't move into school today with them. So that was an interesting experience of not being able to carry anything but feeling bad for my mom, who did. Um, and I am a little over 14 months regular post-op. A little over... Oh my god, I'm bad at math. A little over 22 months on testosterone. So that's cool. Um, yeah, but usual stuff. I will leave all the links I've been saying below because there's a lot of them. Um, and I will see you next Sunday because I will be posting more regularly now that I'm in a dorm and I don't have to deal with people at my house. So it's going to be great. Um, yeah, but see you then. <laughs> Bye.